This video demonstrates the installation of a Zep Solar ZS Comp Array on a composition shingled simulated residential roof using comp mount flash detachment assemblies. ZS Comp can be installed direct to the roof or with various types of flash detachment solutions. For full instructions, refer to the resource page of the Zep Solar website at zepsolar.com. There, you will also find the Zepulator online design tool, which will assist you in your layout design, specify attachment point span and cantilever allowances, and generate a bill of materials for your project. After the locations of the front edge of the array and the rafters have been identified with a chalk line, the first row of comp mounts is installed. Comp mounts are laid out according to north-south spacing specifications found in the Comp Mount Installation Manual, which can be downloaded from the Resources page of the Zepsolar website. North-south attachment point layout can follow individual rafters for a single column layout, or each row of attachment points can be staggered in order to more evenly distribute the load of the array. To install a comp mount, a pilot hole is drilled with a 732-inch drill bit at the location of the center hole of the comp mount. Then, a roof sealant, rated for the application, is injected into the pilot hole. After sliding the comp mount back into place, the lag screw and ceiling washer assembly that is provided with the comp mount is driven into the rafter to a torque value of 13 foot-pounds. The torque setting is achieved with the use of a standard torque wrench. Once the comp mount is secured, the supplied EPDM cap is inserted into the center hole. After all of the comp mounts have been secured, the front row leveling feet are installed. To install a leveling foot, it is placed squarely on the comp mount base and secured with a machine screw. First, attach the eastmost and westmost leveling feet and run a string line between them. Then, install the remaining front row leveling feet using the string line to ensure that the front row is straight. This string can also be used to ensure that the tops of each leveling foot are relatively level. After securing the front row leveling feet, an interlock with a spacer is used to couple the first two sections of the skirt jig together. With a spacer between the interlock and the skirt jigs, the interlock is inserted by hand into the ZEP groove at a 15 degree angle. With the use of the ZEP tool, each ZEP is turned from position 1 to position 3, as indicated by the timing marks on the ZEP tool relative to the timing mark on the interlock. The coupled skirt jigs are then installed on the key side of the front row leveling feet. The installer will feel the skirt jig snugly rotate onto the keys. To prevent the skirt jigs from unintentionally coming free during the installation, a jam is inserted into each front row leveling foot. The remaining section of skirt jig are then snapped onto the front row leveling feet using interlocks, spacers, and jams to couple and secure as before. If the end of the skirt jig section lands within four and a half inches of the center of the leveling foot, the upper portion of the leveling foot, known as a rocket, is removed and replaced with a hybrid interlock. There are three holes in the hybrid interlock to choose from when connecting the foot stud. The foot stud is threaded onto the hole that allows the foot to reach the rafters, while allowing the hybrid interlock to be installed in the centermost position with respect to the module seam. The skirt jig is now ready to accept the front row of modules. Modules are brought to the roof and the groove along the south edge is placed on the tongues of the corresponding front row leveling feet and interlocks. The east edge of the module is placed approximately one quarter inch to the west of the skirt jig seam. Modules are then pivoted downward into position while pressure is applied in the downward direction. On the north end of the module, at the comp mount locations, leveling feet are installed near the center line of the comp mount. The positioning of the leveling foot is done by eye and does not require the use of a measuring tape. If the leveling foot is installed off-center, its base can be rotated so that the oval slot meets the hole of the comp mount base. The ZEP tool can also be used to aid with leveling foot installation. Once positioned, the leveling foot is secured to the comp mount base as before. If using the LFA type leveling foot, load the leveling foot onto the ZEP tool, insert the key side of the leveling foot into the ZEP groove, and rotate clockwise 90 degrees. The second module is then installed in the same fashion, maintaining a half-inch gap between it and the first module. A leveling foot is then installed as before. An interlock is installed to couple the first two modules along the upper edge. It is inserted by hand into the ZEP groove at a 15 degree angle. With the use of the ZEP tool, each ZEP is turned from position 1 to position 3, as indicated by the timing marks on the ZEP tool relative to the timing marks on the interlock. To secure the wiring, a wire clip is snapped into the ZEP groove, the cable is loaded into the ZEP clip, and the clip is slid across the groove to create the desired tension on the cable. 
Because two clips are used per intermodule cable connection, the tension created on the cable transfers to the clips without over-tensioning the connection to the module J-box. Following the same procedure, all remaining front row modules are dropped into position. Now that the front row is completely installed, the array is checked for level. To compensate for inevitable imperfections in the roof surface, the leveling feet can be adjusted to bring the array into plane. By turning the threaded stud of the leveling foot with the ZEP tool, the array is raised or lowered, allowing the array surface to be perfectly dialed. Next, the grooves of the fourth and fifth modules are dropped onto the tongues of the lower row leveling feet and interlocks, and the modules are pivoted downward into plane with the array, maintaining an approximate half-inch east-west spacing. Because of module dimensional tolerances and other variables that may affect the alignment of modules in an array, the connection of the ZEP groove to the tongues of the interlocks and leveling feet have an in-out adjustability of two-tenths of an inch. This flexibility allows for continual truing of the array as it's constructed. After the fourth and fifth modules are set in place, two additional leveling feet and an interlock are installed, and the intermodule wiring is secured. The sixth module is then installed in the same fashion with an additional leveling foot and interlock and the second row is checked for level and adjusted as necessary. As with the first row, if a leveling foot is needed at the same location as an interlock, the rocket is removed from the foot stud and a hybrid interlock is installed in its place. The hybrid interlock can then be installed in the same fashion as the leveling foot, utilizing the tool to provide leverage. This pattern is repeated for the third row and final leveling adjustments are made. Because the interlock is a listed device for establishing ground bond connections, there is no need to install separate grounding hardware within the array. In order to carry the ground bond back to Earth, a ground zip is installed with the ZEP tool on the perimeter of the array where it can receive the PV array equipment grounding conductor. This completes the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Comp PV array.